Dear students, today I am with another concept of uh, business economics and that is equi-marginal principle. So let us discuss what is equi-marginal principle. This principle states that an input should be allocated in such a way that the value added by the last unit of the input is the same in all its uses. This generalized law is known as the equi-marginal principle. Let us see in detail. Let us suppose that a firm has got three workers to employ in four activities, say production of bottled milk, butter, curd and cheese. These are the four activities which these four, uh, three workers have to perform. So the firm must allocate these workers in such a way that the marginal productivity of the last worker employed in each of these activities is the same. That means you have to put all these three workers in all these four activities in such a manner that their marginal productivity is equal it is the same in all activities see it in more clear way if the marginal worker given the duty of producing bottled milk adds output worth rupees 20 suppose if you have given uh, this particular task uh, of uh, uh, to a worker in producing bottled milk and he is uh, producing the output worth rupees 20 then the marginal worker employed on butter curd and cheese production must also earn uh, neither more or not less than 20 for the milk plant otherwise the firm will not be making the best use of the employed labor so the rupees 20 worth of additional output produced by the marginal worker is called of the marginal product or vmp we can understand through the this particular equation that marginal productivity utility of a divided by price of a is equal to marginal utility of b upon price of p so dear students it was the concept of equi marginal principle in economics thank you very much for watching my video uh, i hope that you must have understood this particular concept thank you